Hello everybody, my name is Mortius. I am a necktie enthusiast, education specialist, and acapella artist. And today we are here with a brand new artist to the channel. His name is Peter Barber. Now I have watched a few of this gentleman's covers before. They are fantastic, but the biggest thing that drew me to him is he is actually a fellow reactor like myself. Now, whereas I do a lot of jumping into the sort of techniques and styles of acapella arrangement in general, really how these things are arranged. He talks a lot more about the vocal techniques that are used in bass performances because he himself has a fantastic bassy voice. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, if you enjoy your Tim Faust, your Jeff Castellucci's, folks like that, and you want to learn a little bit more about how they do what they do, check out Peter Barber's channel because like I said, he one, does a lot of awesome reaction content where he goes just as in depth as I do but for very different techniques and he makes his own acapella content which is something I've really been meaning to do and just haven't found the time for it so the fact that he managed to do so definitely means that he deserves some support so please go check out my guy Peter Barber but we are going to hop on in to leaves from the vine now, I have gotten in the habit of watching the original piece before jumping into acapella reactions so I can do a little bit more comparing and contrasting of what they are trying to replicate that, which means that right before starting recording this, I had to go watch the Leaves from the Vine scene from Avatar The Last Airbender. So I am emotionally compromised already, and I am sure that Peter's legendary voice doing this amazing song is just... It's going to send me into cardiac arrest, guys. Someone someone, get the phones ready because I don't know if I'm going to make it through this reaction. But again, please make sure you go give Peter Barber some love. Like and subscribe to his channel. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel as well. Only about 25% of you are. And monkey brain like make number go bigger. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop on in to Leaves from the Vine, aka Little Soldier Boy, originally from Avatar The Last Airbender, performed by Peter Barber. Alright, let's talk about that opening. I'm guessing he's about to hop on into the actual vocal line, so let's take a quick moment to talk about that. I really liked how his hums moved one at a time there, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of hard to tell when you've got four all going at once, especially because they are all the same voice. That's the reason that I typically shy away from uh, doing single voice covers, um, because I don't enjoy them less, don't get me wrong. They are just as impressive if not more and I enjoy listening to them tremendously but when it's the exact same voice four times instead of four to five different voices I find it a little harder to pick out individual things but if I'm not mistaken he had just three hums staying on relatively the same note while the uh, while one of them did the melody but those three would every once in a while just one of them would move in a direction. And I found that really, really cool. I liked that a lot. It was just very... Like in that one, the highest one went... Which, now that I'm singing it, I'm realizing is really high. And so, for this bassy man to be doing that uh, line... Pretty impressive, Peter. I'm impressed. Alright, let's get to that. Let's, let's get to the chorus and watch Mordius cry. And that final chord is just so good and so spread apart. Hold on, I actually want to take a sec to figure out how big that chord is. I'm going to pause and then come back to it. All right, anyone in the comments with perfect pitch, feel free to correct me because it's a little tough to pick out. But I'm fairly certain that is stretching from an E4 to an A1, which is quite impressive for a single man's range. Let's get that one more time and then I swear we're actually getting to the chorus. Oh. Leaves from the vine Falling so slow Like fragile Ooh. Tiny shells 
drifting through the foam. I love the, I don't know if he's putting a post-production effect on his voice or if that's just something he's capable of pulling off. But that boom, 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 the sort of like boom, boom, boom. It's like, I don't know what he's actually doing to create that actual sound. Just boom, boom. I'm not actually doing it right, but I don't know what he's doing. But I really like that boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Like, it adds a lot to the background, and it's replicating really well. If you're not familiar with the original piece, definitely, I mean, if you're not familiar with the original piece, that means you haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender. So, first of all, go fix that. Uh, it's on Netflix. You have, no re you have no excuses. It's one of the greatest shows of all time. <laughs> But even if you don't want to watch the entire show, definitely check out this song. He is imitating one of the instruments in the background of it. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. So slow, like fragile, tiny shells drifting through the foam. Wait, hold on, hold on. Drifting through the foam. Shoot, oh, I wish I could tell what he was saying. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to tell because you know I love when background vocals will use words in their thing. And it looks like Left Peter is saying something here and I can't figure so out what it is. Hold on. Like fragile, tiny shells drifting through the foam. Little I don't know what he's saying, but it sounds really cool. Boy, come marching home. Brave little soldier boy comes marching home. Oh, that time I could hear what it said. He did. Hold on. Comes marching home. Ooh, marching home was really cool touch there. Yes. Falling so slow, oh, you know I'm a sucker for a like two-voice harmony. Tiny shells drifting through the foam. Little soldier boy, come marching home. Oh, that harmony. And the fact that he's sitting on a very, it feels like a tenor two line. I know because I'm a tenor two, or I was a tenor two in high school, and I got used to that sitting on one line. Ugh, or the alto of the men's section. But in this one, it works really, really well for it. I like that that second voice, right, Peter, here, is kind of just staying on one note for the most of it on a high harmony. Huge fan of that. Soldier boy, come march. Soldier boy. Come marching home. Just keeping it on that one line while Mill Peter takes us through the bassy melody. So good. Marching home, brave little soldier boy. Comes marching home. Oh, yes. Oh, I wasn't expecting it. Oh, but it happened. Hold on. Comes marching home. Ooh, that Hub sub har or hub? I combined hum and sub harmonic. Oh, I need to go to sleep, y'all. <laughs> but that hum sub harmonic, it is very difficult to hum with that much resonance. Hums automatically try to because hums, your mouth is closed, so they are automatically exiting through your nose. And what happens when notes go through your nose? They get nasally. What a concept. So the fact that his hum, mm, hmm, hmm, he doesn't have that. And you hear that? If I try to do a resonant, I can do a resonant hum, but my voice gets caught up because I'm not letting the air come out of my nose. Listen, I'm going to try to hold a resonant hum for as long as I can. <laughs> and I just, the air just fills my mouth and has nowhere to go because I don't know how to let it exit my nose and stay resonant. Clearly, Peter does because he not only has kept this incredible 
resonant hum the entire time he's been singing. He then just went, oh, you know that resonant hum? Well, what if I go boom down to the basement with it? Oh, what a beautiful addition to an already fantastic cover. I love it. Soldier boy comes marching home. Oh, so good. from the vine falling so slow like fragile tiny shells drifting through the foam <laughs> you guys know how much i love this technique oh if there's anyone new to the channel uh coming from peter's channel or peter himself, like anyone coming new let's talk about that technique i have talked about it in length at this channel but this is a great time to say it one of my favorite techniques in any musical performance, doesn't have to be a cappella, is when the instruments drop out and just let the voices carry. Now, those of you who are new to the channel and haven't heard me talk about it yet might be going, now hang on, Mortius. It's just voices. What are you talking about? How are the instruments gonna, you're saying like, you love when instruments drop out and it just goes to vocals, but it's a cappella music. It's just vocals, no. Because acapella at its best, which this is honestly pretty close to it, acapella at its best is replicating a full instrumental performance. Including how I was saying that boom, boom, boom is replicating the string instrument from the original song. And he's got that boom, boom boom imitating uh and a lot of songs is imitating the um like stand-up bass line of a song or just the bass guitar line of a song and this one is boom boom it's kind of replicating the more war drum effect in this song um just that boom 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 and so even though technically it's all voices he is still using his acapella techniques to imitate instruments. So when he then chooses to take those instruments he's been replicating and go, no, those aren't there anymore. Now it's just voices or now it's just words. That creates the exact same effect as when instruments drop out and words go. Uh, now, just in case you're still a little confused what I'm talking about, I will pay, play a quick clip of what I mean from another favorite song of mine, of what it sounds like when instruments drop out, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now it's time to rock the show, come on, you are the star tonight. Danny, you know? All right, so I think I've explained it enough, but that is absolutely one of my absolute 100% favorite techniques and I'm so glad he was able to pull it off in this song. Leaves from the vine Plus that harmony is just so Falling pretty. so slow Falling so slow Falling Ling That's high for a bass voice. Peter, you are talented. Like fragile Tiny shells drifting through the foam. So good. Little soldier boy, come marching home. Oh my god. Brave little soldier boy, comes marching home. <gasps> That's how he ends it? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am absolutely impressed. Even compared to some of the other things that he has done and I have watched. Uh, not only am I impressed, I am even impressed like above and beyond the other things I had seen. And the other things I had seen, I enjoyed so much that I wanted to include him in my channel. Like, I'm just... Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got nothing else to say, but absolutely, if you haven't checked out Bobby yet, or sorry, I just saw in the recommended featuring Bobby Bass. I'm so tired. I just said bass instead of bass. If any of you are of school age, bring your teacher's coffee on Monday because, oh my God, they need it. I promise you, they really, really need it. Please bring your teacher's coffee. <laughs> but 
please, if you haven't already checked out Peter Barber, go check out his channel. I will link this song and his whole channel in the description for you. Uh, so definitely make sure you go check that out. And as I said, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, please make sure you do that as well. All of us up and coming creators and reaction folk uh, are all trying to make our name on YouTube. And just like Peter Barber, soon I am hoping to release some of my own original acapella music that I've been working on. And some of you guys have been asking about some of my fancier tie knots. So I actually thought I might be putting out some tie knot tutorials as well. So expect the content to diversify now that the school year is settling in and I finally have a little bit more free time and sanity. Clearly I don't have any more sleep, but a little more free time and sanity. Expect a little bit of diversified content from the channel that I hope you all enjoy. But anyways, thank you so much for joining and as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!